What's going on, my good people? I I kind of woke up out of my sleep, man. There was just something that just kept tapping at me, tapping at me. It kept saying, um, don't awaken love before it's time. Don't awaken love before it's time. Um, don't awaken love before it's time. I was like, where did I read that in the Bible? Where did I read that in the Bible? And so I came to my Bible when I, um, of course, I'm reading from the Message Bible. And this is uh, Song of Songs or Songs of Solomon, however um, you want it to go. But then I went to it. And uh, this is the actual passage from the Message Bible. This is a uh, Song of Songs, chapter two, verse um, seven. So it's chapter two, verse seven. Oh, let me warn you, sisters in Jerusalem, by the gazelles, yes, by the wild deer, don't excite love, don't stir it up until the time is ripe and you're ready. It ain't over. Now, let me go to chapter three in the same Song of Songs. This is chapter three, verse five. Oh, let me warn you, sisters in Jerusalem, by the gazelles, yes, by all the wild deer, don't excite love. Don't stir it up until the time is ripe and you are ready. Oh, it ain't over. Solomon was over. Because, okay, let me get into that afterwards. But we got, this is chapter eight. This is verse four. Oh, let me warn you, sisters in Jerusalem, don't excite love. Don't stir it up until the time is ripe and you're ready. That's three times in one book of the Bible, just three times. Why would somebody continuously mention something and go back to it three times? That's because once you excite love and you um, awaken this love inside you, things come with it. Things come with it. And once you, like, especially when I'm talking to youngsters, you should not be thinking about sex. And that's how I know we're warped as adults because these of how these kids think. And these kids are exciting love before it's time. And when they have sexual relations way before it's time, let's just say you 13, 14, I'll be talking to my God children. And one is in uh, her final year of high school and one just got to high school. But when they were in middle school, they were talking about two girls kissing, um, boys and girls having sex in middle school. And I said, OK, you've excited love way before it's time. Now you're playing the grown person game. The thing is, when you excite this love, you start thinking that you're grown. You don't do any type of attributes that symbolize that you're grown. But this, this is the thing that you choose to be grown at. But when you let someone enter your body, and this is why I keep saying the sisters of Jerusalem, sisters of Jerusalem is talking to the woman is saying, do not do this because when you do this, it's hard to cut it back off. It's so hard to cut it back off because if your body likes this, this thing that is sexual, you learn your identity through sex. These little girls don't even know who the hell they are. You have to learn how to be a woman first. When you learn how to be a woman first, and then you find your sexual self later on in life, when you find a man who loves you, you get to identify what this woman likes. But when you excite love before it is time, you start thinking, okay, he'll like me if I have sex with him. Oh, if I do this. Then you start trying to chase, chase down a man instead of finding out who you are, what your true identity is as a woman. You don't you don't get to go through the natural process anymore. Once you excite love, now you start looking for love in all the wrong places. And then 
This is what's really important. It says gazelles and wild deer. When I think of a gazelle and I think of wild deer, I think of prey. I think of something that gets preyed on. So if a woman excites love before it's time, you become prey. Not from just men, but your own body. Your bone body start turning against you. Your own body will be like, girl, we, we got that itch again. And even if, like, I <laughs> I had a friend, man, and she kept saying, what do I got to do? Well, I was like, be celibate. Be celibate. And when you meet these men, tell them you're not having sex. Don't put yourself in sexual situations. I said, it's going to be the hardest thing you ever do. And I said, you're doing this because you're getting your body back in alignment. You've allowed sex at a very early age, and you didn't get to find out the woman that you were. You didn't get to find out. So now this is the time to find out the woman that you want to be. So you don't become prey. So men can't love bomb you and do all of these manipulation tactics. You cannot be swayed. You cannot be swayed when you get your body back in balance. This is definitely for the woman. It say it three times. Why would Solomon and this woman go back and forth three times? The Song of Solomon is a, it's like the bridegroom and the bride because uh, it calls Jesus or Jesus the bridegroom and the bride because this is the church. And so, man, look here. The church is you. You the temple. All the people. When you go into that church, the church looks like the temple. But the temple is really the people. This is the temple. This is what's important. But when you don't know who you are, these young boys, they have no idea who they are. They don't get the man skills. They go for the sexual skills and then their identity is sex. So they think the only way that they can prove to be man is to have sex. Okay, if I work on having sex real good, anything that you work at, you're going to be good at it. So if you work, in, if you, especially as a man, because we one track minded. I know y'all be talking to y'all little boys. You be like, man, he just won't listen because whatever he is focused on, if he focused on video games, if he focused on football, if he focused on women and having sex, that's the one thing that he want to do all day. I know how men work. I was a little boy once and I was a grown man and I was one track minded after I allowed sex into my life. I was making money to have sex. I was doing things to have sex, to get myself in position for sex. And I was taking myself away from my purpose. I'm telling you, these boys are one track minded. You need to build skilled as a man. But you, when you have sex, especially at a very young age, and you excite love, you excite it. Men today don't understand love. Where does man love, uh, learn love from? The man is supposed to, the little boy is supposed to learn love from watching his father love on his mama. That's what's supposed to happen. But when the boy never sees anybody love his mama, he go outside and he builds his own identity from sex most times. Like because b before these kids go to college, most of these kids have already had sex. And then they know themselves sexually, but they don't have any identity as a woman. When you become 18, you are a one-year-old woman. You are a one-year-old man. One year old. I mean, you crawling out here as, a, as an adult. But if you've already unlocked love in your infancy, which is your, you might be an adult kid. Like I was pointing at, um, <laughs> when I be looking at 17 year old, I'd be like, man, that's the, the, the oldest kid of the bunch, the 17 year old. Because the 17 year old swear they know everything until they get outside. And then they find that they don't know anything. Now you got to build your own identity. Why not build your own identity without sex first? But when you incite this, oh, let me read this again. Oh, let me warn you, sisters in Jerusalem, by the gazelles, yes, by, the, all, by all the wild deer, don't incite love. Don't stir it up until the time is ripe and you are ready. Everybody think they ready. These little kids swear they ready. Then your little draws get hot and now can't nobody tell you nothing. 
because you having sex. Man, street bums can have sex. Man, anybody have a kid. Any woman can have a kid. She lay down and have sex, she have a kid. There's nothing fascinating about it. It can be done a million times over. One lady can have a million kids. Just keep laying down. As soon as you pop a baby, I go lay down again and have a kid. Look here. Learn how to be a woman. Learn how to be man first. But when you excite love before it is time, you run the backwards race and not the race that you're supposed to be running. Men are supposed to be building skills. When a man builds skills, he, feel, he builds true confidence. There is no confidence in learning no skills. Most of these little boys go out and they learn football. And all they know is football. Their whole identity is football. People giving them praise. Women giving them praise. Trust me, I play football. I know you get praise for no reason. But you don't have any true skills. No skills that pay bills because only a certain few, probably less than 1% are making it to the NFL. So you need to learn true skill because that's where your confidence will lie. Women, you need to understand what it truly is to be woman before you excite love. Because your identity will be tied to sex and you think that you need to please a man through sex. Boy, you see this happen in the day. All these women rap about is uh, getting stuff out of a man and gaming a man. But most of it is through sex. And they're not going to get married uh, until they figure out to get out of the goofy race. But what I'm trying to tell you is do not excite love before it's time. And if you are an, a, 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 a wisdom age and you are in a position to teach these kids, let them t tell them, say, man, I excited love before it was time. And really, it worked towards my detriment. And the kid going to say, well, you, you had me. And I say, well, well it's great. That's great. I love you, but I excited love before it's time and I found a false image of what love was supposed to be. Teach the kids. Don't hide. Oh, man, I don't want them to look at me bad. I don't give a damn if nobody look at me bad. If I can teach these youngsters not to make the same mistakes as I did, that's the win. Most of them ain't going to listen any damn ways. But once they get into an age and they start understanding that they don't know love. They don't know love because it hasn't been shown most times. Um, when you grew up in your parents' house, did you see true love? Did you see your mom, your daddy loving on your mama and your mama loving on your daddy? If you didn't see that, you don't know what love is. You have no idea. So again, let me read this and let me get on by my business for today. Oh, let me warn you. Sisters in Jerusalem, by the, by the gazelles, yes, by all the wild deer, don't excite love. Don't stir it up until the time is ripe and you're ready.